You good? I don't know. Sykes you out. Yeah. That spot. Ooh, in your head. All right, so I'm sitting here editing our footage from the hike this past weekend. And uh, you'll see pretty soon, we started out thinking we had a pretty easy hike ahead of us. It's two days later. I am so sore. It turned out to be one of the toughest hikes that we've done in recent memory. Some bad choices, but luckily we had some backup plans and supplies, a lot of determination, and a little bit of luck. Hopefully you'll learn something from our mistakes. gonna try to climb no we're going to climb battleship mountain uh, we wanted to get up early didn't want to hit the trail at nine set an alarm it went off it was really irritating really cold outside but uh mission accomplished it is not nine it is 9 25 it's 9 25 <laughs> so we're hiking down a road because we're in overflow parking because apparently in january in the soups you want to hike these trails, it gets busy. Start on the first water trail, and then first trail you come to is Dutchman's and second water, go on to second water. I know I shouldn't say left, it's improper navigation, but we went left. Coming in from first water, the hike's about a little under six miles each way, maybe around 900 to 1,000 feet of elevation gain. There's other ways to get to it, but I think this is the easiest, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, uh, I know you can come in through Boulder Canyon, but that's got a lot more elevation change, and it's further. Heard there's a ton of stream crossings on this hike, and I hope this is what they're like. I've done a lot of those so far. I'll let you go, just need some time. At your own pace, you need to find your way. About two miles in, seen a couple of spots for camping. So you can backpack this also. Water, not a ton of wood, but that's the superstitions for you. Yeah, about four miles to go. You're going the right way, right? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> that was awkward. Snuck up on by a trail ninja. He said he was going to battleship and we just got to the split off of Black Mesa. He went right. That's not the way I show. Um, my research. Maybe he knows a shortcut that we don't know. So yeah, maybe he knows something we don't know. Um, anyway, so stayed on second water past uh, Hackberry and Black Mesa. I take back what I said before. Pretty good amount of wood up here. So yeah. You can make it work. You can make it work. For something that matters. There's been water all over the trail, but that's seasonal, so don't go in the superstitions in August thinking you're gonna, gonna have water. Um, bring plenty, just to be safe. So really no shade, but we're making progress. That's Battleship. That's the goal. We can do it. Yeah. We're gonna climb that bitch. Yep. So, you go... Gonna go down this way, up, and then we'll come up the spine from. I need to know my directions. I really need to say the east or the. Um, we're coming in from the right. Just had an epiphany. Just talking about how I can't understand how 
you go down 1300 feet and up 900 feet and end up back at the same place where you started. That's because I'm an idiot, but I realized that's one way. So after we go down 1300 feet and up 900 feet, we have to go down 900 feet and back up 1300 feet. So this is, this is not a nine, 900 plus foot day. This is 2200 feet of up. I think I'm gonna cry. I, I didn't multiply by two. Uh, stay in school, kids. You do not know what I have in mind. We are now in this really pretty wash, but do not hike this if it's gonna rain. The signs of flash flood everywhere. And this would not be a good place to be. The night was long as I waited without a sign. A sign of what matters. Bird stream crossing. because I didn't need my waterproof shoes, obviously. So you eventually come to uh, T in the trail. It's Boulder Canyon Trail. You take that to your right, going up canyon, and you immediately have to get down into a stream, which may or may not be dry. Wasn't dry this trip. <laughs> and the people that we met there trying to go just up Boulder Canyon, they said, that a couple of days ago it was a couple of feet higher and they couldn't even cross it so obviously that's a concern that part that i said hopefully there's not a lot of stream crossings there's a lot of stream crossings they're getting old we're a little more than five miles in and we need to branch off to the left from boulder canyon trail i'll put some coordinates of where the turnoff is because my GPS isn't showing the name of it. It heads up towards La Barge Canyon, which La Barge is so close. I really want to do that one. Anyway, about to turn off and then we start climbing. But what do you want? What's your biggest need? Every hour we spend together then suddenly uh, GPS showed us going across the creek a couple more times. We saw Karen. We didn't feel like crossing the creek again. This is definitely a trail we're on. There's another one over there. I see footprints. So, got to go up there. Here we go. immediately starts going up really aggressively. This is a blast, isn't it? Yes, rough. <laughs> yeah, ton of Cairns. I don't think I've ever seen this many Cairns. This part's not fun. It's rough. <laughs> I'd rather do stream crossing. <sighs> Maybe not. It's down. I still believe I'll see you again. Time to put the GoPro and the gimbal away so I can climb. Yeah, that looked impossible from down there. So that was exciting. 
it almost looked impossible. But ran into a couple that were up here. Guy gave me directions. Go over to the left. And eventually you climb up this rock. And you need to be comfortable with this. It's pretty grippy. It's pretty solid. It's pretty sketchy. And the sketchy part's still there. Up that ridge to the summit. This is the south summit. We're not even there yet. That was, it was spicier than I expected. <laughs> but now look at the view. Holy crap, look at the view. So we just did the south summit. That was really sketchy climbing up that. You go around to the left and it looks like the trail keeps going and it doesn't, it cliffs out. And you have to climb up this rock that looks impossible to climb. Uh, really short section, but I wasn't entirely comfortable with it. Now we're on the ridge. This is really mellow for a little while. <laughs> Not for long, I'm sure. We've met five people so far up here. Two made it. Three said that. We'll see if it's four for seven or two for seven that make it today. I'm down with making it home. That says 1884, 1910. Whew. Yeah, you definitely want to stay up because. Oh, wow. This was not wise. <laughs> you have a concerned look on your face. <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> All right, so as far as I can tell, just watch for Carnes. Watch for Cairns. Carnes. Yeah. I don't know what Carnes are, but watch out for those two. <laughs> uh, yeah, watch for Cairns and go slow. This is, this is sketchy. Yeah, it's not even sketchy yet. And that's good. It's great to hear. Yeah, that little spot looked like the trail went to the left. We just climbed straight up and I see Karen's up ahead. I think this is the right way. It gets a little tough here. Wayfinding becoming problematic. We just went up and over something. I think we were supposed to go around to the side, but it's kind of do what doesn't kill you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Around and see what it looks like. Yeah. Where? Right there. Now she tells me there's Karen over there. I think we're gonna do it. <sighs> All we gotta do is get up there, right? Yeah, I think so. Hey, hey! Maybe it goes down more. Oh yeah, it does. It keeps going. We're not there. Yeah, but I think that's pretty much level up at the top. We're getting there. Excited. The way's not always apparent. Go slow. Look around. These are your friends. Yeah. This is 
sketchy. I'm not a fan. I think I'm gonna crawl right up that. That's fine. My hands and knees. I really, this was horrible. So, oh, we we're so close. It's not bad. Really? How do you get up there, though? You go over there and up. That's how you do it. We're too f***ing close. So, have you heard of Summit Fever? <laughs> <laughs> so Summit Fever is an expression that mountain climbers use when they they're like, but it's right, it. it's right there. There's usually a standard turnaround time. If you don't get to the summit by a certain time, uh, you turn around, doesn't matter where you are. But, if you get summit fever, you say, nah, I don't need to be at the summit at two, I'll be there at three, I'll be fine. And that's how people die summiting mountains. Our turnaround time was one, but it's right there. <laughs> it's right there. So even though it's 142, I don't know, uh, we're gonna summit it. We're doing it. Bring headlamps. We made it. We did it. Oh. Yes. I don't know how we're gonna get it. I really don't know how we're gonna get down. Yeah, we gotta hurry. This was tough. Yeah. All right, yeah, we are badasses, I think. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we may be dumbasses. <laughs> All right, GoPro's going off. We need to get to the car fast. That was... Something else. <laughs> that was a <laughs> that was that was a battleship. Bitch. A lot more than we expected, for sure. Oh, that is the understatement of the year. It's only like the fourth, but <laughs> oh my god! Started out thinking it was less than half the elevation gain. Um, it's like 12 miles, 20 to 2,300 feet of elevation, and. Mm, Nats. <laughs> <laughs> and uh oh my god it's not the elevation it's the type of elevation it is like, physical it is like it's rock climbing i mean we yeah. got to the top and a bunch of people were turning back um we actually got to a point where we were going to turn back and we don't like to do that we're stubborn that way <laughs> But it, it was sketchy enough and rough enough that we considered it. And I was like, I'm going to climb up one last little bit and see. And it looked doable from there. But yeah, we're done. I was yeah. ready to give up. 
trashed. Oh, sorry, I'm like leaning into you. It's okay. I'm mentally and physically done. So we didn't bring enough water. No. <laughs> we had our life straw, so when we got back down to the creek, we each had a good long drink. Yeah. Um, wish we had gloves because definitely that rock is very grippy but that makes it very rough on your hands so yeah gloves would have been very nice yeah we, we didn't leave enough time we left at what 9 30 mm -hmm. ab about it is 4 30 or so we've probably got a couple more miles to go we may just beat it before the sun goes down we might, yeah. we might but oh. we <laughs> we have our headlamps yeah brought our headlamps and we're on the easy part of the trail now, so, you know, it's straightforward. That We'd helps. be fine with the headlamps. Oh, yeah, it... Amazing views, though. The views, oh my God. You've seen them by this point. They are some of the best, if not the best, in the superstitions. Yeah, I think but so. you earn them. Oh, yeah. Um, oh. Yeah, if... You got to be really comfortable. It's, I would say that's a, this is an advanced hike. Mm -hmm. Like this was an ass kicker and we were not ready for this much. Nope. But we made it. There's Gatorade in the car, <laughs> in, in the cooler. Oh, can't wait. And yeah, we're almost done. Yeah, okay. don't do it if you got a fear of heights. That's for damn sure. Oh no, no. Battleship is, it looks like it's this big round fat <laughs> silo type thing it is not it is these sheer drops it's more like the spine of like you'd imagine like a dinosaur or something and um a couple uh, hundreds of feet just straight yeah. drop and you're walking along it in spots right next to it so if your heights no <laughs> not your hike no no but if all of that suckage that we just explained doesn't deter you it's a pretty cool hike. It's worth it if you can do it. Yeah, it definitely is. I'm glad we did it. I don't think I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> glad we did it. So we never, ever have to climb that thing again. Yeah. Yeah, that was some <laughs> Yeah. Let's get some Gatorade. I know. <laughs> Sometimes there's little nuggets of gold in there. <laughs> you just can't record it if you're not recording. See right there, there's one. You can't record what you're not recording. I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> My wife's being a bitch. <laughs> Smart ass. This airplane's ruining my audio. <laughs> Dude. Oh help please. Yeah. When in doubt, follow the horse. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get Tina falling into the water. I'm not that little, little bit. I, yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs>